Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Monday, the 20th day of March, 2023. Our topic today on Sister Destiny is rising by light. It says, the Bible says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Isaiah 60 and verse 1. Thought for the day. Constant light equals constant rise. Many times we wonder why some people pray more than others, while some people cannot maintain their communion with God at the place of prayer. Others seem so addicted to God that they are almost permanently in the presence of God, permanently remain at the place of prayer or in the mood of prayer. There are some people who do not struggle to fast or engage in spiritual exercises, but for others, fasting is a serious struggle. Now, what is the difference between these two categories of people? The difference is the degree of their access to light. Constant light equals constant rise. You rise and shine because your light has come. Isaiah 60 verse 1. When you have light, you keep rising in fasting and in prayer. Beloved, before you can turn to God in prayer, you take his words along with you. Hosea chapter 14 verse 2. That means if you are not turning to God in prayer, it's possible that his words are lacking. Jesus said in John 15 7, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. If you are loaded with the word, there is always something to tell God. If you have not run out of revelation, you can never run out of supplication. So, accessing constant light from the word of God guarantees constant rise in life. Remember this, constant light equals constant rise. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to rise by revelation. Number two, devote yourself to reading scriptures, spiritual books, gospel materials, and so on and so forth. Listen to messages that will sponsor light for your rise. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I ask that you help me to access my next level in life. Give me the right insight that will sponsor my rise. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise God. Hallelujah. Before we talk about rising, you must be born again. Jesus must be the Lord of your life. If you want him to be the Lord of your life today, simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. I'm glad you prayed that prayer. And I know that the Lord has heard and answered. My prayer is that you will stand and remain in God. No going back, no backsliding in Jesus name. I'd like to pray for you today. It's your birthday. God caused his face to shine on you. Happy birthday to you. As your days are, so shall your strength be. You are blessed in Jesus name. Hallelujah. We have a quote here that says, God that says God is light and he cannot associate with darkness because in him there is no darkness at all. This is called from Am I Bitter, written by my humble self, Dr. Mrs. Becky Paul Elenche. You can get our books online and you can also get them at our bookshops. These things help us to grow in God. Praise the Lord. Our reading, Bible reading today is 2 Kings 16, 18. An amazing fact here says humans experience 70,000 thoughts each day is the one we dwell on that we knew we were thinking. If not, about 70,000 thoughts pass through our minds every single day. Amazing creator God is. <laughs> Have a wonderful day.